Why do we keep coming back here? I don't know. I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> We're at Maiden Falls. It's not easy to get here. I don't know how I talked Tina into doing this again. All right, you ready? I <laughs> know. <laughs> you sure you're not ready? I am not ready, I'm sure. So we're in West Clear Creek, going to Maiden Falls. I wanted to make this video just because I've been seeing pictures of this waterfall circulating online and a lot of people tagging each other and saying, we've got to go swim there. And I want you to know what you're getting into. This is a rugged trail and it needs to be taken seriously. <laughs> Let's start on the roads. So the roads coming in here, not bad until like the last mile and that needs high clearance four-wheel drive it's really rough but a lot of people park and just hike that extra mile in another mile coming out trail starts out flat for just a little bit and then starts going down extremely steeply it's pretty much full sun exposure and lots of baby heads loose gravel you got to watch your step and um yeah just keep in mind that there are swims on this hike you're in the water a lot once you get down to the creek. If it's warm enough to swim, it's going to be hot as hell hiking up out of here at the end of your day. You've got 1,600 feet of elevation gain to make in the last mile or two, and it's a long, strenuous day. So if you want to attempt this, keep that in mind. Oh, this trail down is so steep, and it's just so many loose rocks. Every step of this hike, you have to watch. Every single one. Constantly seeing flood debris, trying to figure out, do we go this way? Should we go around that way? Do we have to get in the creek? Slow walking. If you make a mile an hour down here, you are rocking and rolling. Slow. Did I mention it's slow down here? What do you think about West Clear Creek? It's absolutely beautiful, but it is tough hiking <laughs> for sure. Yeah, you wiped out already. Yeah, I did. And I have lots of bruises to show for it. Yeah.
see any poison ivy around here? Mm -mm. No. Oh, you're, you're good. Ah, it looks good. Uh, it looks almost better to just go upstream. thing about creek walking is the other side of the creek always looks like it's better walking. Doesn't matter which side you're on. That side looks so much better over there. <laughs> why, are you, why are you down there? It's so much better up here. It's a clear path. It's almost like a parking lot. Oh, it's time to go swimming. Are you sure it's enough? Yeah. So people left floaties before the last swim. Pretty sure there's nobody upstream of that, so they left them there for other people. We'll probably grab those on our way out because, you know, leave no trace. But we didn't bring them up to here. Didn't think it had another swim. We've got our own floaties, so we're blowing them up now. Blowing up floaty sucks, but on the plus side, Tina has a unicorn. Look at that unicorn. Hell yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> 
style right there. I'm good with my lime. That was Maiden Falls. Now we got to get out of here and get back to the truck before it gets dark. Probably going to be an eight to 10 hour day, even though it's only eight miles. West Clear Creek, man. That thing is a butt kicker. It's so bad that when I talked about getting El Patillo, what did you say, Tina? I said, I don't know that I have the energy to drive the extra six miles. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I don't know how many stars that is for a rating, but um, Maiden Falls. <laughs> so tough that you won't want to get Mexican food. <laughs> We're going home. really hard to take you seriously with that unicorn. <laughs> hey Tina, hey, what? what do you think about flat trails? Oh my god, it's a dream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, enjoy this part.